Port, r- 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 records. You know, a lot of these players are going to be etched in history with failure. A lot of you are going to be here for the worst season when Arsenal, you know, eighth last year and all the things we've done this year, the worst start to a season. Some of your names are are permanently going to be there. It, it doesn't make it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. You know, it really, it really doesn't. And it's not, you don't see how we're getting out of it. You know, a manager's out of his depth. He's not even strong to his principles. It's not like he's mad defensive or mad attacking. It's like, like you reactive and just panicky. You don't know what's going on. But I, and, but, but like I, I, I can probably imagine, he's probably going to over leverage the fact that we played the Premier League champions, talk about the fact that it was in a red card, you know, speak about the inconsistencies when Chambers is fouled. They're going to take away from the reasons. You didn't set up to try anything. What are you lot doing in training all week on a serious thing? What are we doing in training? You know, again, I Saliba, again, I don't think Saliba is perfect, people. I don't think, I don't think Saliba is, I don't think Saliba is perfect at all. In fact, let me make a timestamp. Sorry, folks. I don't think Saliba is perfect, people. I think he he could benefit from playing consistent football. You know, I'm gonna I've got it recorded. I'm gonna watch him today against St. Etienne and his old team. I've watched him in his game so far. There's a lot he could learn. In the air, he struggles. He'd make a lot of these mistakes we see, but at least it would be a young player. So if you're telling me you don't want to bet on a young player, I can get behind it because we need to we need to kind of react instantly and we can't give everyone opportunities. You've got to show me why Kalajinac holding Marie. You know, Chambers, all of these guys are playing where they're playing and I can't see it because at least you get some change. So you've shown me you can't improve experienced players, which some managers prefer to work with. You can't bet on improved young players, that evident improvement. You know, I don't have faith. I hope in the future if this all turns around, but I don't have faith that you're going to turn Martinelli into this Alexis Sanchez regen, whether it's on the left, right wing or up front. I don't know how you're going to take, forget Saliba, Ben White and Gabriel to the next level. Ramsdale to the next level. Tavares, Lokonga, with all their respective to the next level. We're meant to have a young team. You know, how we implement them, what we implement short term is going to affect them in the medium and long term. I don't see it. A lot of luxuries have been afforded. And like I said, a man survived November. He had no right. He had no right. You know, I don't know how Mikel Arteta survives the November. He should not have survived last November. And he doesn't look like someone that's taken heed of that terrible run, of that terrible Europa League run, of the terrible start to the season, of the inconsistencies in training. He's being allowed failure and that's because he's not putting real pressure on the board and they're not putting real pressure on him. Arsenal are only going to make a move when it becomes evidently bad. Obviously, for us, it is that. But it's only when it becomes unsustainable. He's still going to get the luxury to say, well, we did this in the market, that in the market is early. It's three games into the season. We played City, we played Chelsea, the Brentford one, you take it L. This is what the club's going to hide behind. They're not sacking him anytime soon. It has to get really, really bad. And, you know, I think one more loss, it could get, it could, it could get gazy. It could get very gazy. But I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't understand any of these decisions. You know, you've, you've, you get rid of the, you get rid of the people who show character. Because suddenly, I'm starting to think maybe Ozil, Guendouzi, Saliba, maybe even Socrates and Mustafi. These guys look like duds, but they all knew you as a dud. It just seems like the, the, the guys that are the neeks get opportunities in this team. Yes, injuries are, but he he has more excuses than solutions. He was meant to provide answers when he came to this club. He's providing more questions. You know, in the variables that he can control, I should be able to answer simple questions. Do I have faith if this manager is back properly with some real money, despite the fact that we spent 100, can he improve it? We're meant to have a mandate for young players, either from the academy, you can throw Balogun or sourced in like Martinelli. Do I have faith he's going to take them to the next level? I don't because I'm not seeing a system. I'm not seeing people inv- improve collectively. At a best, you might see a purple patch from the El Nenes, from whatever in it, from Chambers. These guys put in little runs of form. It's not levels. It's not good enough. Like Managers have been sacked for less and I, I don't see a man that takes heed. The stuff he does, I don't see someone that genuinely looks like they're in trouble. You know, come on now. You know, look at the statistics, people. Manchester City had 25 attempts. We had one. That is cowardly. That is fearless. That is, that is, that is, um, that's too fearful. That's not bravery. That's not winning through harmony. That's not regardless of football game. You have to try. We didn't try and shut up shop. We didn't try and attack. What did we do? We just turned up here and, you know, probably just thought as long as we don't lose 7 0, it's cool. People, you know, they're probably there like, oh, at least it weren't six. And it could have got like that. Raheem Sterling, if he had the shooting boots, Cancelo's trying to score. People try and get their stats up against us. Everyone looks to get three points, to get their first goal, to get a goal for the season. You know, sometimes a team might be in a bad way of form. They have Arsenal and then they sit there and say, our season starts. 
Because we could have lost 5 0 today, but if you showed everything that the fans wanted, we could say, all right, cool. Well, they're a good team. They cut us open. It's, it's tired. I don't get the vibe these lot know their fellow, fellow professionals. If you're a boxer, if you're Anthony Joshua, you know about Ty Tyson Fury and them things there. It's like we have, we've never watched City before because you know once you lose that ball, you need to regroup. You can't be open on the transition. You and your centre-half and your team, you need to talk. So people are getting caught ball watching. No one's talking. It's like, you wouldn't think these are a bunch of players. It looks like we've just ran, ran around London and just put bare different guys together. And it's not that, you know, we. what is our team about? Three games played, no goals, nine conceded, zero points, rock bottom, no optimism, inconsistencies from everyone connected at the club. It's scary, people. We're conceding some terrible goals. So this tells me this team doesn't respect the art of defending. You don't respect defending, even if you don't like to defend. I'm sure them City players don't like defending. They're all pretty boys and skillful players, but they recognise it. Everyone's happy to half arcs do their job and, and do the minimum. And everyone's got that attitude. The thing is, we've been here before. We've, and we're going to be here again. And what's going to change? Nothing. Even a new manager doesn't change things. And I'm not saying that to, to fix him, to, to say keep Arteta. It just doesn't. You've got clowns above him. You've got a clown in Eddie. You've got a joke man in, in Cronkey. You know, Cronkey probably doesn't even know the score sheet. He doesn't even know what's happened. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. It's a joke, man. The only positive thing there is about Arsenal is that that it's international break soon. And that's what I feel. I feel personally, you know, he might get a little win against Norwich if you could say that international break. It kind it doesn't calm things down, but it simmers things down. I think that's what he that's what's gonna happen, you know. That's what is going to happen. And I mean, you're betting on shit, guys, man. Since the start of the 2016-17 season, no player has been sent off more often in the Premier League than Granit Xhaka. You know, level with David Luiz and Fernandinho. Now, Fernandinho, for all them four red cards, he stood up to be counted countless times for Manchester City. David Luiz and Xhaka have mentality and Luiz was better than I thought. But at the same time, these are the foundations we're trying to build. You cannot build a team to get Europe or do anything serious with the players you're playing. Certain players never played today that we could use examples but you're you're going to be limited when you've got players that, you know you want to play out from the back quick these guys don't trust themselves especially when they're pressed when you've got holding chambers leno cedric and if they if Kalajinac, if it's not them you know you've got Xhaka in the middle you know you've got people like el nene you've got a terrible bunch of players collectively it's absolutely appalling absolutely appalling you know we're only the second team in premier league history to lose our first three matches in a season and have a goal difference of minus nine after wolves in 0304 they went on to finish bottom of the table and arsenal have never been relegated stuff can happen people arsenal as you as i said have lost their first three matches in a season for the first time since 1954-55 it's crazy people it's crazy. This is only the second time Arsenal have both had a man sent off and been three goals behind at half time in the Premier League. You know, again, we fell, we were two goals down within 12 minutes, people. That's the earliest we've conceded twice in the league. So where is the brain? Where is the switching on? This is a joke, people. You know, Manchester City have now opened the scoring in each of our last 10 Premier League meetings. So that tells me two things. You don't have to, not ex you know, you either don't let them score first and you and you give them a culture shock or you need to be prepared that this team will score against you. How you react. Once, like I said at the start, it's all about of, of the watch along. It's how you react. We went a goal down and players genuinely were behaving like they've never scored. They started to respect them. Oh, Grealish cost 100 million. Oh, this guy, that guy. When you saw Spurs, they were on it. There's going to be times City play Brentford and Leeds and, you know, everyone else. And they're going to have City begging for a point. City are going to have a 2-1 victory. Because as good as City were, they smacked us 5-0. You never, well, through credit of them, you know. They had to, they just took their chances, smacked us up. You could tell Pep started thinking about whoever they've got next week, just like Brentford started thinking about the next game. Spurs, I mean, Chelsea started thinking about the next game. It's peak for us people, you know? And they remain unbeaten in 11 league defeats. So you lot, you lot, you lot weren't on a mission impossible thing. You lot weren't on the, the belief of there's a million reasons as to why we can't do anything, but we should believe. You lot weren't on a fearless thing. You lot are pretenders. When the going gets tough, you lot are not serious. You, when you lot are met with adversity, you can't react. You don't want it big enough. You don't want it bad enough. You don't want it more. You don't. They don't want to be more successful more than they want to breathe. Winning and getting Arsenal back and not being mentioned with negative connotations doesn't keep them up at night. Like I say, I get the vibe. A lot of people, the manager, everyone, they it's like Arsenal's a part time thing. They're all some. They're all some other influences and whatever. Arsenal's a charity thing, a comment relief sort of thing. It's ridiculous.
It's ridiculous. You can't look at that team telling me you need th these are the right backs. You can't look at that midfield telling me that is serious. You can't. You can't. You can't. It's ridiculous. You have the joint worst start in Premier League history better yet now, people. You know, Brendier scored more goals than Arsenal this season, people. Norwich are losing at the moment, so we're thankfully off the bottom of the table, people. No side has ever finished opening, has never ever lost their opening three games in the Premier League year and lost four um, and lost and, and got top four. So Europe's gone. Europe's gone. We've scored one goal in just eight against City. We finished with 19% possession, people. Come on. That's the lowest in the Premier League since we since they have data, which was we also had 31% against Liverpool in July 2020. Now, I think we won that game so we can get away with it. We also had just one shot. That's the fewest we've ever had in the Premier League game. What, well, like I said, that highlights our cowardness. We're cowardly in all aspects of this club, on and off it. Be excited. Trust the process. All of this nonsense and this tosh, people. Since Mikel Arteta was appointed, Arsenal picked up more red cards than any other team. We've got 10. You know, Brighton have six, they're second. And some of that, some of these players make stupid mistakes, but you're financing it, you know. Someone, to be cynical, maybe, you know, you, Jack has a squad player and he doesn't play today because you upgrade that midfield rather than saying, oh, come, Jack, come back, sit back in. You're always going to get certain things with these players, you know. You're always going to get it. Some of these players are just, they don't, they don't respect themselves, man. They don't respect themselves. It's an absolute fuckery, man. That's 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 the only thing. That's the only thing there is to say. It's just a fuckery. What's going on at this club, people? It's absolutely a joke. Like it's not even funny. Like it's it's so madness. Make sure you're hitting the like button, people, and you're also at the Liverpool watch along as well. As I said, people, man. Like make sure you're hitting the like button. There's 600 of you, but there's only 158 likes. Come on, people. Let's at least get to 300.